Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about classifying triangles. And there are two different ways that we can classify triangles. We can either classify them by their side length, or we can classify them by the angles that are inside the triangle, the interior angles. And so what we're going to do in this video, a couple of things. First of all, we're going to talk about the different classifications that exist. And then I've got some examples you can see here on the left-hand side. And we're going to go through each of these nine or so examples and just talk about what kind of triangle we could classify them as. So, first things first, if I'm going to classify triangles based on their side length, I have three possible classifications. The first one is called the equilateral triangle. The thing about the equilateral triangle, you might see it here, you see the prefix equal, uh, equal right? Okay, so that makes us think maybe same. And what this means is that equilateral triangles have all three sides of the same length, okay? All three sides have the same length. The second classification is if two of the three sides have the same, and this is probably one of the ones that's easier forgotten, it's called the isosceles triangle. And isosceles triangles, notice how to spell that right. You might want to pause the video and learn how to spell that. But two of the three sides are the same length. It wouldn't make any sense to say that one of the sides is the same length as, as itself, so we kind of skip over that one. And so we go down to zero of the three are the same length, and that is called a scalene triangle. So rather than say that zero of the three are the same length, we might also want to classify this as, hey, every side has a different length, a unique length, right? Um, in fact, you know what I'm going to do in this video? I'm just going to stop and I'm going to say we're only going to do side lengths here. If I go through these examples, then what I'm looking for are things like tick marks. See the tick marks here? Those tell us that these two lines are the same length. That is different than up here where I have no tick marks. So if I wanted to classify this triangle based on its side length, I would simply say, look at that, no tick marks. That means none of the sides are the same that I know of. I could go through with the ruler. Maybe they're close. But, but right now, we're just going based off of tick marks. No sides the size the same length, so we would call this a scalene triangle. Now over here, this is interesting. Um, we might need to know the hinge theorem, which will come up later in our particular class. I don't know about, you know, if you're watching this and you're not in my classroom on a daily basis, I don't know where this fits in with your your study of geometry. But I do know that if this angle and this angle are the same, that based on what's called the hinge theorem, H-I-N-G-E, that means that the sides across from them are also the same. So even though there are no tick marks here, we could also go through and pick tick marks on these sides. And that means that all three of them are the same because all three angles are the same. So based on the hinge theorem, because I know the side lengths are all the same, I can call this an equilateral triangle. Next, I have two side lengths of the same, so I can call that isosceles. Next example. Without any tick marks on it, I can't assume that any of those sides are the same length, so I'm going to go ahead and call this one scalene. Here I am. I'm back to kind of this idea of I have tick marks here. And that means that the sides across from these, that would be this side, and across from this one, that would be this side. If I have two angles the same, that means that I have two sides that are the same as well. And so if two sides are the same, we call that isosceles. Here's an easy example. The tick marks are already given to us, so we can say that this one here is equilateral. I have a right triangle. I have no idea. I know the hypotenuse here is the longest side. I don't know about these two. So since there's no tick marks, I cannot assume. So I'm going to say that all three of these are different lengths. 
that is a scalene triangle. And then the last one here, not only is it right triangle, but I have these tick marks, so I know that these are the same length. That makes this an isosceles triangle. So those are just some quick examples here. Really, the only thing that probably was maybe a little bit difficult on this was the fact that if I have this angle, that the side across from it is the same. Okay, And we'll get more into that. Once again, that's called the hinge theorem. Hopefully that video clears up at least the classifications by side lengths. I'll make another video here in just a second that classifies these same triangles